One of the star of the star of your collection is Zone de Sensibilité Picturale Immaterielle by Yves Klein. Right. So um, why is it an important, an important work? Well, first of all, because it's immaterial, so there's nothing. <laughs> so it's very important if there's nothing. <laughs> so it's very important. It's about nothingness, which is in fact fullness, because Klein did an exhibition in 1958 in his gallery, which was called, uh, which was handled by Iris Claire, which was, and which is known as the exhibition of the void. So people would come into the gallery, there was nothing, but he said, no, 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 it's not that there is nothing, it's filled with pictorial sensibility. So it's filled with immaterial. So basically that was in 68 and in 69, uh, his dealer, Iris Claire, who was a little bit crazy, but a genius, uh, decided that they would formalize it. And they've just brainstormed about a kind of check, which is a receipt for the sale of something immaterial. So basically the check is just the receipt of a collector who would come to the gallery, meet with a Klein. Klein would decide for the price of that immateriality that would be payable only in gold. And then the buyer would either acquire the receipt and keep it for himself. So he would be somehow only the uh, depository of the immateriality. If he wanted to own it, which was a total different story, then he would have to go with Yves Klein, with a museum director, with a gallery dealer. The, uh, uh, the, the, the two ones were L'Arcade in Paris and, and Virginia Duane in Los Angeles. And they would go along the River Seine with the buyer, with Yves Klein, the buyer would just burn that receipt and Yves Klein was throw into the river the gold he was given for that receipt. So basically it was a kind of tribal exchange, but very spiritual and immaterial of an artwork. So it, you can see the progression from Duchamp, for example, of, uh, his conceptual work to uh, uh, Eve Klein, to people like all the conceptual artists, and even the the, the guys, the, the earthwork artists or land artists who didn't want to have their work in a gallery, in a dining room, or in a museum, and who would do their stuff, their earthworks in the desert. So basically, it's all about also not only art, the main core of the art, but it's also about the trade of an artwork. And you, this, this piece make you um, think about NFT? Of course, because it's immaterial, it's totally dematerialized, there's nothing, there's nothing real, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing real. And in addition to that, uh, Yves Klein was so, uh, uh, bright, so smart, that he imagined that if it would resell to different people during his lifetime, he it would bear the names of the different owners. So it's also the blockchain. So you have the materiality and you have the blockchain all together, and that is from 1959. And the first buyer was a famous antique dealer. No, the first buyer, sorry to say so, ah. was uh, Dino Buzzati, who was an Italian ah, writer. Ah, yes. famous there, Italian writer. Yes, and there are uh, photographs of that ritual along the River Seine, which is very famous, showing Buzzati burning his receipt and Yves Klein show, uh, uh, throwing the... the uh, I thought photo. it was another one. No, the one that I have, the buyer, who was the second buyer, was Jacques Kugel, who was the most important uh, uh, antique dealer in Paris, dealing with the most important uh, uh, American collectors who wanted to have empire uh, uh, trophies, 
or Louis the Sixteen trophies. They still exist. They have an incredible mansion uh, uh, along the River Seine. They're still dealers. The the the, the sons uh, that he bought one of those, but he kept it. Okay. And he put it under, of course, a golden frame. <laughs> <laughs> and you and until now you have it. Uh, I bought it from uh, Marcel Fleiss gal uh, Gallery One, uh, uh, 1985. So that's a long time ago. I've I've had that piece for over 35 years uh, because I've had other works by Yves Lan. I've got I've had sponges. I've had monochromes. I've had many works by Yves Klein, But you know, as a collector you always have to part with your collection once in a while. And I had no problem parting with those words, but I would always keep this one because I knew this one was the essence of Yves Klein because he has always said, uh, I am entering the larger studio of the world. I mean, he was completely megalomaniac. And I will always make immaterial works. And to complete that, he would say, my paintings are nothing more than the ashes of my art. So he said it. He said, I don't care about you know my sculptures, my paintings. What is important in my work is immateriality. So that's the reason why I kept that that you can call it whatever, a document, a receipt, a zone, a session, but it's the work. So that's the reason why I kept it uh, till now. Merci beaucoup. Thanks very much, Judith. Bye. Have a good day.